Hi, it's me again with Gorilla Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and they're evidently making quilts with this pattern. I don't quite understand why they need a kerf, but I could see why they'd want to cut out each individual piece out of a different fabric. So I'm going to kind of go over this. This is really simple. We've got an eye, and she also said about resizing, so you could, you know, resize it at this time. I mean, matter of fact, that says a one inch square, but it's not. I mean, it's, if we look at that, it's actually a 3.35 inch square. And you could use that. What I would do is probably go and break the curve apart and select that and see it's, it's less than two inches. A uh, couple of things you're going to do if you, you know, you shouldn't need to know what size that patch is you need to know what size the quilt's gonna be. And this is like 55 inches long and 26 inches wide. So if you need it bigger, just, you know, grow it by a percentage, like with this lock, you know, you grow it by 100 or by 10%, well, 110%. And now it's quite a bit bigger. Well, what did I do? Click on that. Oh, it's starting out, so I, you need to add plus 10 and see what happens. There we go. So it added 10% to that size. Or you could just go, you know, like this till you get the size you want. Of course, you'd want to group the whole thing together. But anyway, <clears throat> I think she could figure that out, or they can. Let me kind of back up here. I don't know about the border. The border is going to be the same. But... Because it's 26 inches, we're going to set our nudge factor on 28. And she mentioned kerf and separation. I can understand. I don't understand the kerf as far as quilting, but I guess you need uh, some uh, material overlap. So all you have to do is take your smart fill tool, and we're going to set our smart fill tool on red just so it'll show up. And just start anywhere and fill that in with red and move it over. You know, it looks like it didn't move it over 28 inches. Um, oh, I was going to go down. So take the smart fill tool and grab that section and move it down. You know, and then if they're all the, you know, like this piece and this piece are the exact same. So you'd only have to do it for one. And you'd only have to do that one time. And you'd only have to do that one time. These two pieces are the same. You're going to need that piece. You know, you're going to need this piece. And uh, you're going to need that piece, which is basically the same. So you just need the pieces that are different. So like that one's a little different. I'm not going to go through all that. Like there's a different piece. Uh, there's a different piece. But you need to separate them a little bit. I've done this with wood. And this is how I would do it. Matter of fact, you only need to concentrate on half of it because if you get, well, you know, these two are completely opposite, but they're basically the same. So then let's go to curve. Let's grab all these and let's left click, right click, meaning it's a hairline. And matter of fact, let's nudge that one over a little bit more. You know what? For the video, I'm just going to, I'm just going to place them all together. Because this is how I would do wood, you know, and she would, they would pick their fabric of color and cut all the ones they want out of like a blue fabric and then cut the other ones out of a green fabric or, or you know, paisley or whatever. But if you will group these together, control G, and go up to effects and contour, you'd want to use square corners and we're going to contour, let's say, 0 0.05 to the outside in black. Now, that's probably not enough. So you'll just need to figure out, let's go 0.1. Let's say that's enough for your stitching. All those are done at the same time. You could do every pattern. You could do all of them together. Let's just back up here, put these in our group. And what I would do, if I was going to do it, I'd actually color color code the ones that are, are 
different, but let's uh, let's do the same thing. Let's left click, right click, <clears throat> and these are still a group, so we need to ungroup them, and then group these together. Control G. That's kind of the key. And now let's go uh, 0.15, make it a little bit bigger. Now you've got them all contoured, a little bit thicker. There's your kerf or your material loss. You know, when you stitch them together, I have no clue. But then all you have to do is uh, go to object, break contour apart, and then just click on the center ones and hit delete. These are your bigger pieces. And then make sure they're a hairline, and they are, and just so happens to be black, but then turn them all red. And if you're a laser engraver, you're gonna use RGB, and it doesn't really matter with a hairline, it could be any color. But if you're gonna do it for real, I would color code these. You know, let's say all these are gonna be blue, or let's make them blue. You know, that way you might not forget which one's what. You know, you're gonna make all these blue. Let's say you're gonna make that one and that one blue, and you know, then green. And let's say you're gonna have the two big triangles green, you're gonna have the uh, these other triangles red. And then again, you might want these two pieces red. If you will do that for your whole thing, and then that way you know that they're a little bit different, you know, different fabrics. You know what, let's just continue this. This would be a good, pretty good way to do this. I think, I have no clue. Let's say we're gonna make that one purple, purple, purple. For the video, we're just gonna make a few extra purples. Um, go to this light blue, put that one, that one, that one, that one. Uh, go to a uh, light or different green and make that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Maybe even, well, you wouldn't want two greens together, but uh, there's another orange, you know, type color. You wouldn't want those two reds and orange together, but uh, let's make one of them yellow. Let's say we're going to make these yellow and these brown. So when you wanted to separate these, instead of separate them all, and I'm just... I'm shooting in the dark here. I don't know if this is how she's even wanting to do it. <clears throat> but we need to separate, all the, uh, separate these and see which one we have as doubles. So just go to edit, find and replace, pick those greens and go from selection, find all. Then it's always better to go to object group them together and then you can move these two green ones out of the way. Uh, let's find all the, uh, that color of blue from selection, find all, group them together. And the reason I'm grouping them together because that way you can go back and pick them. So there's all your blue fabric. But if you look, you only need one because they're all four identical. Now, with the fabric, if it has a pattern, you might want to use the ups and downs. I'm going to do that one more time. Uh, let's find the, the purple ones because there's a lot. From selection, find all, go ahead and group them together, and then move them out of the way. There's all your purple. That way you won't get confused on the shapes because then you could go, well, I only need these four, and I really only need these two because they're identical if you're cutting them out in fabric. But the way I've done it before would be to make a master copy and and then take the, you know, go here. Let's say we got them all and go control D and duplicate them and then take them over here and go up to object and ungroup them all. And then I go, well, I only need two of these. The rest of them are the same. I only need one of these, the rest of them are the same. And I really just need one of these. And then take those and let's get rid of that find and replace docker. Let's left click, right click in red. Then go to your effects, contour, the same. The, well, I didn't group them together. See, it's not highlighted. Go to order, 
or object group, and then do the same thing. Go up to object, break the contour apart, and since your contour to the outside, all you need to do now is click on the inside one and hit delete. And there you have, you know, then you just need to figure out what curve. And then if you were going to, and then that way you still got your color code up here that this one needs to be green, you know, and stuff like that. Anyway, I hope that kind of helped her and thank you for watching.